Hey, this is Eric Kurtz, and in this video, we're going to take a look at four Chrome web extensions that are good alternatives to Clearly. Now, that may bring up two questions for you. First of all, what's Clearly? And secondly, well, why do we need alternatives? Well, let me explain both. First of all, what is Clearly? Well, it's a Chrome web extension that basically takes any web page that you're on and cleans it up. It removes all of the distracting elements such as ads or comments or other things that are not really part of the core article that you're reading on the website. So for example, I'm going to pull up a website here. This is Dogo News. Uh, Dogo News is a student current event website. Uh, really good content here, but also just a lot of stuff. You'll see we've got a lot of menus at the top, we've got an ad on the side, we've got popular articles, we've got comments, we've got you might also like, <laughs> we've got comments at the bottom. There's a lot of stuff here that could potentially be distracting to a student who's trying to read this content. And so for many years, um, I've been recommending, and so have many people, a web extension made by Evernote called Clearly. And I've got it installed, and you can see up here it's this little desk lamp icon in the top right hand corner where extensions usually go. And if I were to come up and give a click on the Clearly icon, you'll see what it does to this website is clean it up. So there you go. So now that website that had a whole bunch of distracting elements on it is simply the title, the content, the core pictures, just the information that the student needs to be reading and nothing else to distract them. Really nice. In addition to that, there are a few little tweaks you can do on the side here. There's a, um, a button to change the themes or the format of how the page is displayed. So I could switch to a black background with white text or white with black text or small, medium, large. So there's a lot of different options you could play around with here. And when you're all done using it, you would just hit the little arrow in the top right hand corner and that would fold it away and you'd be right back to normal. So you say, well, Eric, that's fantastic. What a great extension. Everybody should be using Clearly. Well, I agree, except it turns out that as of January 22nd, 2016, Evernote has decided to no longer support or make available the, the Clearly extension. Now, what that means is if you've already got it installed, it's not like it's going to go away, but it'll no longer get support. So. Who knows, over time, over the next few months or years, it just may not work anymore as the web changes around it, it may not be able to keep up with that. Um, in addition, if you don't have Clearly installed, well, you won't be able to. It's no longer going to be in the Chrome Web Store. So from here on out, nobody could install it um, if they did not have it already. So that's what Clearly is, and that's why we need some, some alternatives. So in this video, we're going to take a look at four quick alternatives that you may want to consider to take the place of Clearly if you've used it in the past, or if you've never used it before, hey, maybe one of these would be a great one for you to start using. In each case, we're going to apply these to our Dogo News article. The first one we're going to take a look at is called readability. Now, readability is by far the closest match I have found to Clearly. So if you loved Clearly, well, you're going to love readability. It very, very much is the same experience. Uh, so um, let's go over to the uh, Dogo News site, and you'll see that I have readability installed. It looks like a little uh, red, um, nice, comfy uh, chair up here in the uh, top right-hand corner. And all I have to do is, as normal, go up and give a click on that extension. And what readability will do is drop down this little menu. Now, what you want to do is choose Read Now, meaning I want to change the look of this page right now, not save it for later. And so simply click on the chair, click on read now. It'll go ahead and clean up that web page for us. And there you go. As simple as that, I now have that original web page now cleaned up. A lot easier to read. All the distracting elements have been removed, just the text and the core important images. And you know what? Very much like what you saw with clearly 
Now on the top left side, I have the same button to change the appearance. Give that a click and I can change to different fonts if I want. In addition to changing to different fonts, I can also change the font size. So I can scroll this way to make the font larger or smaller. And I can also do the same with my images. I can make my images bigger or smaller as well. There's likewise a, uh, a option to change the background. If I click on the moon, I go to more of a night mode and the sun is going to be the white background with the black text. When you're all done um, reading that, you can just click on uh, the uh, link to the original article. Uh, you can get to it um, here where it says original or just up here at the top as well. Either way is fine. And it will switch you back over to the original page you were at. So I think without a doubt, readability is certainly a good replacement, uh, an excellent replacement for Clearly. However, there are some others. Let's take a look. The next one we're going to look at is called Beeline Reader. Now, Beeline Reader does pretty much the same things that clearly did, but it adds two more changes that you do not see in clearly or in the readability or in the, yeah, in the readability um, extension. So I've got Beeline Reader installed. Let's go ahead and pop back over to Dogo News and you'll see it's this uh, big letter B up here in my extensions. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a click and you'll see what it does. Now, first of all, it is going to clean up the web page like we're used to. So just like before, it gets rid of all those distracting elements. We just have text, we just have pictures. But you might notice there's two very important changes. One is the font has changed. Uh, Beeline Reader uses a font called Open Dyslexic, and that font puts uh, the bottom of your characters as a wider, bolder font, and as you move toward the top of the character, it gets thinner and lighter. And the reason behind that is it helps orient, orient the letters on the page properly for a student who may have um, some difficulty reading. And so Open Dyslexic, that font, replaces what you normally have on the page as the default font. So that's one of the changes. The second change is the font color, which is pretty obvious. You'll notice that it's changing from blue to dark blue, then to dark red, then to bright red, then back to dark red, dark blue, and then bright blue. It's changing as you look down through the page. Now, what's that all about? Well, the idea behind this is it's to help a student stay on the correct line as they're reading across. So if I'm reading along, reading along, and I get to the end of the line and it's bright red, well, then where do I pick up the next line? You got it, on the bright red. It helps keep them moving down the page properly line by line. Now, if you don't want those options, you can go up to the little settings uh, button in the top left. For example, you could say, you know, let's not use the open dyslexic font. You could uncheck that and it will go uh, back to the normal font. Same thing, you can also change your themes. If you did not want having a gradient there, you could choose different gradients, or you could even go to custom, and quite frankly, you could just make them all black, and then there really wouldn't be a gradient. So that's kind of up to you if you want to make those changes. When you're done using Beeline Reader, just click the um, extension for Beeline Reader as normal, and it will toggle back off to the original page. So Beeline Reader, another good option, similar to Clearly with a couple of extra features in there. All right, two more to go. Next up is one called Easy Reader. Now, just like all the others, same idea. Let's clean up a web page. Let's make it easier to read. The difference with Easy Reader is it only does it for a portion of the web page that you choose. So I've already got that installed as well. Let's go back over to Dogo News and let's find our uh, extension up here. So Easy Reader is in the uh, top right hand corner with the rest of my extensions. Now watch what happens when I give a click on Easy Reader, nothing seems to change right away on the web page until I start moving my mouse on it and suddenly I start seeing these boxes appearing. Basically what it's doing is saying, hey, I can clean up this section of the page. So if I come down here and click now on the main content, what it's gonna do is pop open this little um, pop-up window where I can now scroll through and just see that section cleaned up. So accomplishing a lot of the same stuff we've seen with the others, not as many adjustments as far as font size and colors and things like that. And it does seem to squish the pictures a little bit. So not as, uh, 
you know, I don't think it's as good a, a, of an option as what we've seen with readability or Beeline Reader, but definitely one that does work and something that you could consider. When you're done using it, just click off of that area and you're back to your original web page. All right, final one we're going to look at is called Read Mode. Now, Read Mode, just like all the others, the point of that is to clean up your web page, and it does that. The big difference here is it doesn't really remove all the other stuff. It just kind of makes things easier to read, cleans up the background, cleans up the text, but it doesn't get rid of all the other distracting elements. Instead, it puts them at the top and bottom of the page. So we'll take a look and I'll show you how, how that works. Let's head back over here to Dogo News. And another difference you'll notice is with the read mode extension, it does not appear in the top right corner with all the other extensions. It actually appears inside of the URL bar. It's probably a little hard to see here, but it's like a pair of reading glasses. It's a little light, so it's kind of hard to see. But if I do come here and I give a click on my reading glasses here to toggle the reading mode, you'll see it does clean up the page. We get rid of the background. We get a lot easier to read text. But you'll notice at the top of the page are all of the options that were at the top of the original page. And if I go all the way to the bottom, I'm going to see things like um, the uh, links that we had, that we'd seen before, the you might also like articles, uh, and all the additional um, images that normally had gotten cleaned out. Those are still in there. So again, not my favorite compared to some of the other options we had, but still it does the job if you're looking for an option. When you're all done, just go ahead and click that little extension again in the URL bar to toggle read mode off. And again, you'll be back to your original article at that point. So unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to Clearly, um, uh, as that will no longer be available to us. But I think uh, with an option like readability, you've got an excellent replacement. Uh, or Beeline Reader, hey, pick up a few extra features with that. Or if you want to, definitely check out Easy Reader or Read Mode as well. All of those are available in the Chrome Web Store. You can just simply search for those um, extensions by those names. Or if you want, you can head over to my website at controlaltachieve.com and I will have a blog post there that has all the same information as well as links directly to those extensions. To jump directly to that blog post, go to controlaltachieve.com slash clearly alt, like clearly alternatives. So clearly A-L-T, clearly alt. And that will dump you right into the blog post that has those links. Now, while you're there, check out the other blog post. Certainly take a look at uh, all the resources that I have uh, collected on the site. Be sure to check out my webinars. Got a collection of those. Do about two of those per month. And there's even a newsletter you can sign up to get a periodic email newsletter to keep you in the loop on everything else. Uh, happening there at the site. So thanks so much for watching this video and uh, hopefully one of those options will work for you and your students. Take care.